Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to Loki. So in the last episode, we ended on quite a predicament. I mean, I, I have no idea how Loki and Sylvie are going to get out of it. I feel like they will, seeing as we have three more episodes of the show, but I'm just saying it doesn't look good at the given moment. All right, let's just... Let's just watch and find out. Oh! Dragon swoops towards the palace. The doctor flies, <gasps> defeats the dragon, and saves that On the authority of the timekeepers, I hereby. Oh my god! The sacred timeline. Oh my god! First of all, Judith. Oh my god! Wow! Holy shit! Holy shit! Are we gonna finally see them? Oh, thank what God he's in this episode. You okay? No, no, Mobius, I'm not. Look, I know there's protocol, but she could have information. She's right? dead, Mobius. Get it? She seemed okay. She seemed fine. At first, yes. But by the time she got in here, she could barely speak. Oh. This could be a lie. Nobody does. Well. Nothing to do but just hang out and wait for your inevitable doom. Fun. Everywhere and every when I went caused a Nexus event. Sent up a smoke flare. Oh. Until eventually I figured out where to hide. And so that's where I grew up. The ends of a thousand worlds. Now? Wow. That's where I'll die. Oh. Oh my god. There's nothing sense. It's pretty tragic. When we don't die, we survive. I mean, you did it. You did it on your own. You had rings around them. You're amazing. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh god. Oh. Okay, that's not someone stepping on the wrong leaf. You ever seen a branch like that? Is it that both of them well I don't wanna say something stupid. <laughs> wow. Well, that's how they get out of it. Okay. You betrayed me. You betrayed me. Well, grow up. Grow up. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're in that folksy, dopey insult from the folksy dope. What am I? The god of self -sabotage? Not the folksy dope. A bad friend. Yeah. Chew on that for a little bit. A, a bad friend. friend. What is this? The TVA is lying to you. Oh, no, but good. You planted that seed. Where, the, where is he going? Where the fuck is he going? But he planted that seed. He planted it. The, the, the seed is planted. Let's go, Mobius. Yeah. <gasps> ah! You did it! It! I hope you know you deserve to be alone and you always will be. Just... Oh, no. Oh, she's gonna continuously knee him in the balls and punch him. Listen, you are a reconstruction of a past event created by the organization that controls all of time. She's gonna do it again. She's gonna do it again. She's gonna do it again. Oh boy. That's. Oh, that's gonna suck. Come on, Ron. This is what I do. And this is what I do. Nobody speaks with that variant. See, I don't trust you. But if there's a mastermind here, I don't think it's Loki. Then, then he should be the easiest to break. Timekeepers are watching, Mobius. They're always watching. Work your Loki. Work your Ooh. Loki. That would be my mantra. I do not trust you. Not you, Mobius. You are perfect. Right. I do not trust her. Okay. Sure. So the TVA is lying to me. Oh. Why? Just doing my job. Oh! 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 
Wait, no. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, maybe she did. Maybe. You conniving. I don't know. Pathetic. Maybe they can figure it out together. I thought it'd be funny. And it's not. Uh, She's gonna do it again. You are alone. <gasps> and you always will be. Oh. Okay, my theory. It's gonna sound stupid. But my theory is the spike was created because for the first time ever, they didn't feel alone. Both of them. Okay, well, okay. Maybe. It's probably stupid. That's okay. Won't be the first time I said something stupid. I guess you don't know partners. Unless, of course, it benefits you and you intend to betray them at some point. It was a means to an end. Oh, Mobius is people. sad. She's already been pruned. So assume I do. Oh. Say, Zach, wait, I don't, what did you just say? What? Superior Loki. I would have bet on her. Oh, but he's sad. That's what makes a horse race. He's sad. What a incredible seismic narcissist! Wow. Go for yourself. Uh, is she alive? For now. Oh. Yeah, you've already told me about 50 lies in the past 10 minutes. I'm not yeah, lying this I'm time. You're all variants. Everyone who works at the TVA. Okay. The timekeepers Come on. didn't create you, they kidnapped you. Memories she can access through enchantment. So that's what happened to, to B15? Oh my god. I, does, is, does he believe me? Oh. Nope. The seed is planted though. I mean, the lies you tell yourself. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my god, my heart is breaking, because like Mobius is hurt, he is hurt, and I don't blame him for not believing Loki, but, you know, I, it just breaks my heart. Oh my god, see, she knows, she knows something's up. Open the door. Come with me. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? I live for this. Whatever this is. I don't know what it is, but I live for it, and I love it. When, when did you first notice what was going on with C20? Mobius, what is going on with you? Nothing. We did He's it. questioning you. The timekeepers are happy. Mission accomplished. Because I don't trust you. Something just seems a little off. Mm. A seed has been planted. She couldn't even form words by the end. I don't, tr I don't trust you. I don't deal with trust that. you. Friendship like ours is not common. You, if you are fucking with Mobius right now. Uh, Thank you. <gasps> Mobius, I love you. I fucking love you. He doesn't trust, he doesn't trust anybody. Oh my God, Mobius, let's go, let's go. We need to figure this shit out. And I don't know what's happening here, but I love it. Oh my god, okay, okay, this is, I'm getting emotional. Come on, Mobius, figure it out. I have so much faith in you. I live down there, I went to that bar, I had friends. I had a whole life on the sacred timeline. Oh boy, oh boy. Do you care about this variant? Sylvie, I'm not sure if care is the right word. I think we've covered this back in the Do you really think you deserve to be alone? Better figure it out quick, because the Nexus event the two of you caused, I think whatever that connection is, can bring this whole place down. So I just have to trust the word of two Lokis. You do, but you could do it, you could do it! How about the word of a friend? <gasps> Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You're right. <laughs> save her you need to trust me yes can we do that trust each other you can be whoever whatever you want to be even someone good i mean just in case anyone ever told you different ah, that was the sweetest thing
everything. Mobius, you are everything. You are perfection. You are the best. Oh, fuck. Wherever it is I'm really from, and wherever I had a life before the TVA came along. Oh, Mobius. I'm not on my jet ski. Burn him. No fucking way! I don't like you! No! No, no, no! That happened way too fast! No, 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 no! No! I'm so... Put out an alert for Hunter B-15. She too has been compromised by the variant. What was my Nexus event? Why did you bring me in? I don't remember. Wow. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I've lost track of the number of times I've been killed. So go ahead. Mm. Do your worst. Mm. I think you're scared. No, that is not nothing but the cause of this crazy that she might think that she has more rage than Sylvie in this given moment. I mean, come on. Loki, keep it, keep it together. What the fuck? The robots? What? Mindless androids. Controlled by who? It never stops. Yeah, I mean, it really doesn't. Then who created the TVA? This is new for me. Um... What? You are the worst! Oh boy. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit! Okay. He went somewhere. Where are you? Am I dead? Not yet. You will be unless you come with us. Oh my god! Wait, was that a wait? Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Um um, was that a bunch of different Lokis? Is that what, is that, is that where they go? But I, I have so many questions. I have so many questions. I have so many thoughts. I have so many feelings. Let me tell you so many, so many, so many. Okay. All right. Uh, whew, where to even begin? I guess at the start it, I honestly, it, it really was just such a tragic story um of what happened to sylvie um shout out kaylee flabby i mean we love kaylee on this channel so um loved seeing her um have to have to do a shout out there but um oh my god you know 
to think, you know, it, it didn't even cross my mind. I guess I just wasn't really thinking about it too much, but when um, she kind of, um, you know, when Loki was kind of opening up about stuff in the last episode and you know, opening up about his mom and like, you know, just like things like that. And, you know, Sylvie didn't open up as much and, you know, uh, she said something to the effect of like, thanks for the tactical advantage, but really it's like she didn't have much to tell. She's been on the run since a child, since she was a child. Oh my God, I my heart is like really breaking for her. And, you know, in that last, that last kind of little showdown, right? It was crazy. Um, I, I mean, the amount of rage and resentment and just willpower to succeed in that moment, it was so strong for her probably over years and years of having her entire life robbed. And then when, um, it's her name, Ramona, I, I, I apologize if it's not, um, but it, where she says, I don't even remember, I don't even remember what the event was, you know, uh, way to kick her when she's down. You know, I, I just absolutely, God, it just, I think they did such a good job of explaining how much rage she must feel and how much she feel she feels has been stolen from her um so the spike in the beginning it was, it's funny because i i i thought in the beginning like oh maybe there's a big spike because here's the thing about loki the loki that we sort of followed for good you know as much as this is technically a different like you know but but Loki in general, something that's a really base thing for his character is he's always felt alone, abandoned, and almost disregarded. And he truly does cherish the people who, who don't really see him that way. And, you know, um, but he's always felt like an outsider, you know, even with Asgard and just everything like that, you know, I think he always um, cherished his mother so much because she kind of saw him for who he was and, and loved him unconditionally. And she, you know, um, so I think he, he obviously always deeply cared for her. And we actually got to see a really beautiful thing happen within the movies and everything, um, past the point of the timeline that this Loki's in, but, you know, where, where Thor was kind of starting to accept him for, for who he was and, and, and love him unconditionally. And it, it just, I think that, you know, that was always such a significant growth for the two brothers and those two characters because of the fact that I think Loki always felt like that was just completely impossible. I think he, he feels that he's possibly unlovable or, you know, um, it was a line in this episode. Oh, I love this episode so much, but where, where Mobius is like, do you think you deserve to be alone? And, and that's was like, I don't know if we need to open that can of worms right now, but you know, so, Literally, when I saw the, the, the spike, the first thing that came to my mind was the fact that maybe he feels like there's somebody who actually understands him, which is something that's pretty rare. Um, you know, uh, and I, I, love, I love that, that that created such a spike and that it just lends to the tragedy of who Loki is. Um, that literally him feeling like he's not alone, right? And this is my interpretation of it. Um, him feeling like he's not alone and he has somebody who who understands him and is is kind of him, you know? I, wasn't it in the first episode? I, you 
maybe I'm wrong in this, but in the first episode, didn't he say like, oh, the only person I can trust is myself or it was alluded to or whatever. So, I mean, you know what I mean? I absolutely, you know, um, love the fact that he felt like in my in my interpretation of it that he he felt like he really truly wasn't alone for the first time and i think it's possible you know she felt similarly and that created this crazy s spike how lonely of a person do you have to be you know that you not feeling alone just makes it crazy you know and i i loved it um oh, wow um and it was it was wonderful to see Loki in this episode, and and you gen, try to be as genuine as possible. He he really, um, you know, I think at first he was kind of spinning some lies or whatever to maybe help Sylvie out in some sort of way to to Mobius when they were having the the first discussion and everything. But in general, I feel like in this episode he was trying to be pretty genuine, especially to Moby, ay ay ay. We better not have seen the last of Mobius or I am rioting, I am rioting. I, oh, absolutely not, I mean, icon, icon, okay? Oh Lord, I, I mean, the post credits scene gives me some hope with that, but I'm still kind of, you know, don't really know everything, so I don't really, I don't know. But nonetheless, oh, my heart, my heart, my heart, it's breaking. Um, I liked that. I love the fact that it seems like Loki and Mobius have a genuine friendship connection. Like, I like, I mean, particularly with the first two episodes, we could see that, like, like, I don't know, I could, like, they just had this wonderful chemistry together. I feel like Mobius is the type of person who can handle Loki, you know what I mean? I love, and his bullshit, and just call him on his bullshit, and then, you know, I, I just, I love them together. And I was so happy to see them together in this episode, which I mean, oh, how bad was this? Did my scream? Was it bad? Did it hurt your ears? I apologize. It's just, but listen, I, it was this, this whole episode was an emotional roller coaster when it came to them because it was, well, for a lot of factors, but just the fact that like, you know, Mobius probably felt like he, he had like a, like a friend that he could have like actual conversations with and and feel I don't know but it, he I think he thought of of Loki as a as a friend with his guard up obviously and everything like that and I think he was genuinely kind of hurt when Loki took off left him in the dust like and he was like um listen lady sif by the way love seeing lady sif we shout out shout out amazing is gonna go kick you in the balls for a really long time you could tell that mobius was like salty salty but you know it, it was so nice and I, and I think they did a really good job of showing how how mobius was able to kind of realize like Oh, Loki might be telling the truth. Like, and it, the seeds were planted. He planted one seed, then he planted another, and then Mobius, you know, he's a, he's like a detective by nature, right? So he wants to find out the truth, and I was here for it. And there was just a little bit of the, of the lies of things going on with that one agent. And, oh my goodness. I mean, really, truly. Ay ay ay. Um, I it was me watching it, and I I'm assuming a lot of people felt the same, but I won't speak for for you guys. But me watching it, I was just out here rooting for Mobius to figure it out and go team up with Loki, and for that to get so cut short 
so abruptly and so horrifically. Oh, I, oh, it broke my heart. It broke my heart. And it seemed like it broke Lo Loki's heart too. And I feel like Loki felt like he had a, had a friend. And it, it's so crazy, especially for this, you know, it's interesting. Oh, I'm really going to go down the rabbit hole with this. But like, you know, it's interesting because I think in the first episode where he saw Loki's future, his, what would be his future or possible his future, you know, um, you know, I think it gave him a little bit of perspective seeing, you know, things develop um, w w with Thor, right? And and that I think it it put in that idea that I it's possible that that I don't have to be alone. It, it's possible that I can have people in my life that I actually do care about. Um, that I don't, you know. Um, but more importantly, that actually care about me. And I think him seeing that was important for the development of, of the relationships that he made in this with Sylvie and Mobius, people that he, he cares about and that care about him. I think Loki's fairly, he's a very perceptive man. I mean, there's a reason that he can get away with so much and can, uh, for lack of a better term, fuck with people so easily. He's, he, he's very perceptive. I think he was very aware that Mobius was pretty hurt, that he felt betrayed, and that that was genuine and that he, he actually cared. And that beautiful moment where they both are like, hey, can I, I need to trust you, you need to trust me, and no bullshit right now, no bullshit, I need, we need to trust each other in this moment. And for to have that be just so satisfying, you know, to watch, and then It would, I was upset. I was upset. Oh my God, I'm still upset, but I was upset. I was like, we better tear this house down. Like I was angry. Um, wow, yeah. Um, and just, I, I mean, and another shout out. We have a lot of shout outs in this episode. We just, we have to do it. Uh, B15, I don't know her name, but B15, shout out. Oh my God, as soon as we could see that the wheels were turning, I was about it. I was so excited. And that moment between her and Sylvie was just chef's kiss. I loved it. I loved it. I loved, and and then at the end where she comes through, she comes through. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I was, I was so, see the emotions in that scene um, internally for me as I was so angry about Mobius that I was like, I just, I, I was like, I'm gonna, I don't care. I was I was going with it, but I I I just I wanted them to fuck it up, fuck everything up. I don't care what, just fuck it up. Like I was so angry. Um, but shout out, uh, she did. Uh, the acting was amazing as well, as you could kind of tell that she was she was slowly not just not just figuring things out, but slowly realizing that everything that she's fought for has been a lie. I mean, oh my God, it's just, I could, ugh. And there's a lot going on with just the logistics of everything. Listen, we've got, um, you know, the timekeepers are robots, so who's controlling said robots and what the fuck is going on? Who knows? 
who knows? I don't. Um, and then Loki is waking up with a bunch of other Lokis, I assume. Does that mean Mobius is waking up with a bunch of like Mo Mobi Mobiuses? Mobi. <laughs> um, I'm just being hopeful here. Um, and one of them was a was that an alligator? Was that an was that an alligator? Was it an alligator? I I. So it was like the next episode just going to be like a bunch of Lokis. Is that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to like make guesses of like what you know because I'm sure most of what I'm gonna say is stupid. So, um, but I'm excited to see. Well, I just, I, yeah, I just really hope that we're, we haven't seen the last of Mobius or I will be very upset. Okay. Okay. Two episodes left. Two episodes left. This was amazing. I loved this episode. It had like everything. The plot was moving forward. I loved the emotional, like just the, my heart and my feels were really in it for this episode. I loved getting to the point. I love when you can just sort of really root for characters. Like I, when I, I that that last scene, B fifteen showed up. I was ready. I was like, let's fucking go. I am, you know. Oh my god. It's uh, whoo. I I loved every second of it. I there was there was some good action. There were some really good, um, even like quieter moments. And I just, it just, I loved it. I loved it. I thought it was amazing. And I am so ready for the final two episodes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. I probably talked for a ridiculously long time. I apologize. Anyway, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.